Check that body. Hello again, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. I'm going to do another tutorial now on Omnisphere 2, and I thought we'd just create a patch from scratch. So here we go, we've got Omnisphere 2 here, and what I'm going to do is let's go to our default A oscillator, and instead of a synth, I'm going to choose a sample. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a external audio sample from a Nord Lead 3. So it's just a saw wave. So let's open that up. So there you can hear. You could just use a sim sample from Omnisphere if you don't have any to input. So there's a there's my sample. That's the synth oscillator. And that's my sample. Okay, so I thought we'd use that. Just so it's a little bit different, that's all. We're just using one oscillator. We won't use anything else. So the first thing we'll do is let's adjust the amp envelope. So So a little bit of release on there, a bit of sustain, a bit of decay. Just so the note rings on a little bit. And I think we'll put a bit of unison on. Let's turn unison on. Bit of depth and spread fully up. Which is nice already, you know, we've got quite a full, full sound. Um, let's go back into the main oscillator. Let's close that down a second. And I think, let's turn the filter on. And we'll leave the basic low pass filter. Let's turn the filter envelope on. Bring the filter down fully. And what I like to do here is I bring my filter cut off down fully so basically this is a filter fully closed and what we'll do we'll tweak the envelope so we get sort of a nice pluck let's take a bit of the release off and let's turn key track down so they can hear it's a real nice pluck when the filter is fully closed and what will happen is as we increase the filter cuts off the filter will open up so that for me is a good starting point for a, a patch because you might want to filter it down in which case it's nice and subdued in your track especially if it was an arpeggiator so while we say that let's actually turn the app on and see what listen to it with a filter opening So there you can hear, it just gives it a little bit of something, so we, we can use it within our track kind of straight away and we're going to have some um, sound design basically to that patch, so very handy. We can also maybe modulate the filter a little bit with an LFO just to create again some modulation, so let's have LFO1 and our target will be our filter cut off. So again, what we can do, we can actually sync the LFO. So let's So they can hear it's it's sweeping. Now, like I said in a previous tutorial, you've got this little plus button here. As you can see at the minute, the LFO is modulating the filter cutoff uh, lower sort of in a negative fashion so instead of it stopping here it's actually swinging past here 
and open, closed, open, closed. So if we tick that, you can see now the LFO will only modulate above the lowest point of the filter cutoff, which is better, it's not as much. And again, we can maybe just decrease the depth a little bit just so it's modulating a little bit. So let's open up the modulation section and let's choose LFO1 again. Uh, this time we'll select, let's have a look. Let's select pitch and let's go back in. Uh, let's In fact, let's turn that to LFO2. And if we go on to LFO2 here now, let's select a select a saw wave. Just a tiny little bit of pitch. So it's just slightly going out of tune and coming back in tune, slightly out and coming back in. And again, it's just to create that old analog feel a little bit where it may slightly go out of tune depending on the settings, the environment that the synth is in. So there we've got a basic, very basic patch. We can now go in and manipulate that more by putting some effects on. So if we click onto A, what we can do now is we can actually put effects on uh, this A oscillator uh, specifically. So for instance, we could maybe put a delay on there. And let's, let's put an eighth delay on. A little bit of feedback. Basically, I've increased the tone so the delays are brighter, so it's cutting out all the bottom end. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, let's have a bit of distortion, maybe. That's nice. We have actually got a lot of presets here that we could use, but let's just. Let's leave that at that, and we'll put a little bit of reverb on here as well. Let's use the proverb. And put a lot on at first so we can hear it. We can make it quite big. Okay, let's bring that down. We'll roll some of the lows off. And again, just make it high so it doesn't muddy the sound. So you can again hear, you know, the patch is definitely getting bigger and louder, and a, you know, a little bit more stereo width on it from the delays and the reverb. Let's try adding what else have we got in here? 
Let's have a bit of chorus. See how that sounds. Just turn these off so we can hear it. Let's try the analog. Okay, let's actually try the the new Selena ensemble. So you can hear there straight away just from one simple saw wave we've already got a patch that's kind of there's a lot going on there's a little bit of evolving uh, movement with the modulation of the pitch and the filter and obviously a few effects have made it you know a lot bigger a lot wider a lot more going on with the delays let's try let's try a different pattern let's see what we've got club eights let's try So you can hear there, real nice sort of little trancey super saw. Let's automate the length of the notes as well. We can now modulate this like I've shown in a previous tutorial um, with randomize. So let's try that. I mean, you can hear there, it's just creating more movement in in the the whole preset let's apply a bit of swing as well a new feature now as well is the speed within the arpeggiator which quite fun you could assign that for instance to let's say the modulation wheel so now that's the beauty of Omnisphere literally MIDI controller learn so select that rotate one of your knobs on your MIDI controller it'll automatically assign you've instantly got a parameter now that you can modulate from your keyboard so really really handy okay so let's have a little look now more into the section here where we've got frequency modulation let's see if we can increase the quality of the sound by doing some different things so I've turned frequency modulation on Nice, dirty did it up a little bit. Let's try Wave Shaper as well. That's quite nice. So you can see just from a few basic little tweaks, you can create, you know, a massive big patch in a matter of minutes I'm obviously just being you know pretty rough just not going through um, any of the main the main parameters I mean the most important thing for me are the envelopes so your amp envelope your filter envelope and like we did before adjusting the filter 
to um, at least give it some give it some controllable parameters again each one of these you can right click and MIDI learn from your controller so you've instantly got hundreds of different parameters that you can go to straight away to create a very complex patch and have a control of a lot of the parameters at your fingertips so I use the Nectar P1 which would allow me for instance to uh, have all four sliders of the amp envelope and the filter envelope at my fingertips as well as um, all four of these controllers and many many more um, obviously I only control a few parameters filter cutoff and resonancy to kind of you know instant ones that people like to mess about with and assign uh, because you would use them uh, but certainly with your amp, amp envelope as well you know as the patch was opening up you could increase the release so you can hear there it creates this massive cacophony of sound so massively powerful instrument this is just one basic patch I think what I'll do I'll go through a few different tutorials maybe creating a bass patch a lead a pad and a few others once you're happy with the patch that you've created as well you know save them it doesn't matter if you know you may never use it again but the fact is build yourself up a database of your own sounds so if we go into the utility menu we can click save patch and we can choose where we'd like to save it I've already got a folder there called Mass Force, and I'll call this, let's say, Trans App. Click Save, and what you could do now is put your attributes in there. So we could click Author and Mike Smith, and we could also have Genre, and we'll put electronic and let's have pattern and we'll call this sophisticated so there you go just a, a few few ideas of what you can put in there so keywords we could have trance app lead lead and click save and there you go there's your patch so now if I wanted to load load it again let's say I loaded something else I could go into my folder and there's my trans patch and that's it it'd open up check that body